In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you two methods to adjust the horizontal on a video clip in post-production. Sometimes you may need to make minor adjustments. Perhaps you have a video where the tripod wasn't horizontal and you need to tweak it just a few degrees. Or other times you want to change the sense of how the video looks by changing the horizontal aspect largely. Let me give you two methods to do this in PowerDirector. The first method will highlight the clip and I'll press the F2 key. That will get me into my PIP designer. Now what I've done here is I've added grid lines because when we do this I sometimes find that helpful. To do that you simply click in the lower right part above the preview screen and you can click on your grid lines. I chose a 10 by 10 in a secondary menu that's off the recording screen. So what I want to do, let's assume I want to make this hill uh, look a little higher. And I'm going to use a method by moving on the left panel and clicking on rotation. Now we have degrees of rotation. If I have a positive number, it will rotate it right. Negative, it will rotate it counterclockwise. So I'm going to highlight the last two digits only and then type in a point 8 and press the Enter key. You notice immediately I just slightly adjusted the horizontal to the right. I have a problem when I do this because I have now I have a black area in the lower left and the upper right and actually in all four corners. The way that we adjust for that will be that we will take our magnifier, we'll zoom out on our picture, and then we'll slightly enlarge the area on the screen to make sure that we're covered within our grid lines, and then we can click OK. Now I've made a slightly minor adjustment at the cost of losing a little bit around the edge of my video, but I have a new horizontal that I can play here that's slightly different. So that's one way of accomplishing this task. Now let's look at a different method. In this second method, we'll also highlight on the original clip, and then we're going to click on the Tools button above the menu and choose Power Tools we'll use the secondary option crop zoom and pan then we'll turn on our crop zoom pan and we get into our crop zoom and pan edit window one thing we notice when we we look at this is below the preview area we have a black box with a degree in the upper right corner this is a degree of rotation now in this case all we can use is whole numbers so if I type in a 5 it will rotate it clockwise 5 degrees. If I do a minus 5 it will rotate it back the other way. So let's try a negative 12 and now we have really changed the horizontal but again we have the darker areas. If our video permits we need to resize it so we simply click on any one of the four corners and we will make it so that there is no black outside of our new video. In this case, we can also adjust it to the right or to the left if we want to change the focus a little bit. I think I'll stop right here and then I'll click on OK. And now you notice what we have. We've adjusted it so the hill seems a lot taller. We've dramatically changed our horizontal to make it look like uh, we're almost on the side of a very steep hill. When I start to play the movie using the adjustment, I have a completely different look and feel than I did before on the same video by simply changing the horizontal. I've sacrificed some video real estate to do it, but if that's your objective and that gives you the kind of scene that you're looking for, it's a very easy way to accomplish this task. So we'd encourage you to consider either of these to make minor adjustments of a degree or two or major ones like the one you see on the screen.